Hello and welcome back to the IPL YouTube channel. Today we're going to be covering a week 11 matchup between the Toledo Mudkips and the OSU Fighting Sea Uh Going into this game, the Toledo Mudkips were 6-4 and four and the Sea Dots were 7-3. and three. I'm also joined here with my brother, so... What's up? Alright, so we're going to be... He was actually battled in this as with the Toledo Mudkips, so why don't we get going with this? Yeah. I'll be the color commentator, you can ask me questions. Inter two interesting teams. I was surprised not to see Krukaroka on his side. Uh, and for me, no Mega Pinsir. So. Alright, we see Electivire and Darmanitan. Darmanitan, the most common set is a Scarf, which is what I expect yeah, my brother I, to be running here. I, I was Scarf. Um, and obviously, he wanted to switch out because, you know, I, I probably had EQ. I did have EQ. Um, luckily, I was able to predict it, and I go for the nice U turn. And that was huge. Were you that, specifically predicting Latios? Uh, I thought he might switch into it, um, but either way, I just wanted to get out of there because I knew I outsped. Um, it's actually a speed tie if he's scarfed, so I switch out into this thing. Um, sc my Scolipede, which you know obviously has the super effective Mega Horn if I need to use it. I don't outspeed it though, so I needed to protect here um, in order to get my speed boost up. Yeah. But th that really, that really set the tone for this match. Uh, getting, I mean, pretty much neutralizing the threat of Ladios early on because I always could switch in and scare him out because he was one, he was really one hit away from being done. So he switches out, you know, I thought about going for a different move here. He goes into Heatran, and at this point he was scared that I might have Earthquake, which Skolopede uh, has access to. Um, I actually ran Rock Tomb, uh, which you'll see will come in handy later. Um... It also does get Rock Slide, but I wanted to, you know, surprise something on a switch in and get this. Uh, it has a hundred percent chance to lower the speed by one stage. Um, so he he has a, this is a good switch in, uh, predicting the Poison Jab because the Poison Jab does Oko the, or it doesn't Oko, but it takes out the Latios from their range. Uh, so I, obviously his main threat is well, not main threat. One of his main threats is Mega Aerodactyl. Looks like you brought a lot of counters to that two Water types and Jolteon. Yeah. And Jolteon and, uh, well, uh, we'll get to that later. So, I mean, this this thing really came in handy. And he switches out into, I, th I believe, Azumarill. And, oh, no, no, Jellicent. <laughs> right. Same way it resists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at this point, well, yeah, I was going for the Skull, <laughs> oh, yeah. he switched in. He switched on the Skull. This is really slow. I guess it is. It's Jeez. on his side. Um, <laughs> I'll speed it up, okay. Um, so yeah. But in the meantime, well, I, you know, he was already at full health, so I wasn't really scared of the water absorb. I thought he might switch out there, um, so I, I, you know, I went for the ice beam, and I get a little bit lucky here with the crit and the freeze, um, but I went for scald in the next turn, which thawed him out anyway. So, you Wait, know, why did you do that? Because uh, I kind of felt bad. Um, so I figured a belly drum was coming, um, so I stayed I stayed in, uh, because I knew I outsped, and I brought Haze for that reason, and it really came in handy, because Katara obviously pretty much walls this thing, um, I, I mean, a belly drum Okos, but, uh, you know, I get a little bit of fortune there with the burn, not really, 30% is like 50%, and then he misses his But if you play. outsped, then you could have... So I guess there's no move that a Milotic gets access to that can do a good amount of damage no, from Zumeril? No, oh, no. I mean, sense. I could Dragon Tail... I can't Dragon Tail him out because he's a fairy type. Right. Yeah, and uh, he misses the play rough. I mean, really that miss didn't matter too much because I would have just recovered up on the next turn and he would have went, went down to burn. Um, we saw how lethal that belly drum was when uh, he played Ryan. Right, and I actually... My, my Scolipede and my Jolteon were both... Uh, focus Sash. So I would have been able to take it out on the yeah. next if, if Katara was to go down. So I figure I can live a Draco Meteor. I do have a little bit of special investment in this uh, Milotic. Um, and so I just recover up. Uh, and then he switches into this thing. Um, I went for Skull. <laughs> predicting, you know, may, just in case he switched into something else. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, this thing is causing... Milotic is causing a lot of trouble for his team. Uh, so I go for the recover. Yeah. I haven't actually seen this battle, but I assume he's going to want to get his rocks up at some point. They do. There was actually no rocks in this match. And Skullpede. Yeah, oh, there were no rocks. Mega Aerodactyl has access. Yeah, and so. I had, I had Defog, so does Heatran. I had Defog on Flygon Jin. And, um, 
So, you know, I was a little bit apprehensive this, the, as a thought of t going into Flygon Jin in case he'd predict it, you know, going for the Ice Punch, which is pretty common. Um, I just U-turn out because obviously he can't hit me because I figure he's Choice Banded. Um, and I go out into this. And my rationale for going out into this is I know a knockoff doesn't take it out, but I wanted to bait the Will-O-Wisp and go out into my Lodic to get my Marvel scale up. And that's exactly what happened. So, and that helped a lot later on in the match. Yeah. And so I was able to get that, that scale up, and we can actually... Why don't we... Why don't we... Uh, this was, you know, it was just a lot just of... Like skip. Yeah, it was a lot of... Well, we can watch it. It was just a lot of back and forth. It was a lot of stall uh, for, like... So have you ever thought about running... Like, I mean, I don't know if this reveal... Actually, yeah, I shouldn't ask you, but what have you thought about if people are watching this? Unless you don't mind. Well, I'll answer... I'll see if I'll answer the question. Okay, <laughs> like, have you ever thought about, like, running, like, a flame orb? Yeah, yeah, I have. Oh, um, you have? Yeah, but, you know, I don't know. It, I, I've run it in, like, tournaments and stuff, and it just, I lose too much health. And, you know, losing 12% and not getting any of it back is really, you know, is really rough. All right, so this is the point where my Marvel scale is up, and I know I can take a wild charge and gamble on getting a Scald Burn. But he goes for the Ice Punch, he overpredicts it into Flygon, which I thought might happen too, so I was kind of afraid. Because I knew I could take the, 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 because I knew I could take the Wild Charge, and because I knew Ice Punch was probably in his set, for either Haxorus or uh, something. It's so pretty you, common. Do you think that burn matter? Yeah, I mean, it neutralized this thing. It's done. It can't do anything to me. Yeah. Um, it did matter, but, you know, that's why I run Skull, and not Hydro Pump, you know? Hmm... So I mean, I don't really, know if that's the reason. No, it is. I mean, it's one of the reasons, but also... Or like, Surf. Why wouldn't I run Surf? Generally on a wall, you're going to go for like the 100% accurate move surf, on the power. Surf. Every water type that knows Scald knows Surf. Yeah, but I'm saying you could have gotten burned on your second Scald or something. Well, yeah. I'm not yeah. saying you should never get burned. No, I know, but... I mean, the freeze I felt bad about. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so here I figure he's going to go for a Hex, and I just want to get some damage off, and really, Eugene, uh, Eugene would have been nice for, I mean, Latios with x or, or Knockoff, um, or with, uh, Heatran and Aerodactyl, but, because its defense is pretty high, but I, I, you know, I mean, he had a, some physical defense investment, which is, uh, there's some more hacks there, it was a really hacksy battle for me, unfortunately, um, and, you know, that also changed it, because obviously I wasn't burned. Uh, he actually could have lived to knock the next knockoff because he didn't have an item. I don't know if you want yeah, to risk that. Yeah, I know. Well, he, I guess he might as well. He could have. He could have lived it. I think he was a little bit of a low roll though. Um, so I don't know why. Like he was, I was with him, and he was like, "Wait, why did I do that? Why did he switch out?" Because I took out his Electivire, and up until this point, um, when Jellison came in, I wouldn't bring Jolteon out because of mo uh, Electivire's Motor Drive, which raises its speed if it's hit by a, an Electro type move. So I can't. I could not risk that. Um, so, I, you know, I just decided to stay in because, uh... Well, I, you didn't know you had energy ball, did you? Well, I knew a Draco or a, or a Psyshock yeah, would take me. So, I, I, you know, I decided to stay in, get the little bit of Life Orb damage off. I didn't really need Kingler that much anymore. And obviously this thing, you know... I don't know why he stayed in here, because he should have... Oh, no, he didn't stay in. Maybe it was later that he stayed in. Um... But yeah, so, oh, this is when I, I think this is when I made the aggressive play, and I went for the Rock Tube. And that was a big play. Because, one, it lowers his speed, and, of course, I get my speed, and it did 60%, so I could just Rock Tube again, and I, I forced him out. Um, and then out comes Donnie Trump, his Heatran, and I Rock Tube. Doesn't do much at all. Um, but that speed drop is huge, and that's... Part of the reason why I like it. So at this point, he still thinks you could have Earthquake, right? Or no? No, no, because he's been in with this a couple of times and I haven't gone for EQ. And I protect because I did not, I did not have Baton Pass on this. So, and you know, I'm proving, I'm proving that this thing is good. <laughs> what did people doubt it? Yeah, I mean, if people think it's only a Baton Passer, but you know, I, I run, I run, I ran Expert Belt a couple weeks ago, and it put in some work. Yeah, I mean, just just having having a Pokemon with Protect on it can mean that. Yeah. Big difference. And you know, I mean, Donald Trump. You know, I was seriously fearing the Power Herb Solar Beam. I thought that might be something that he ran, uh, but he ended up not doing that. 
um, for fortunately. So he switches into this thing, and what happens? He gets thrown in. <laughs> so that was really unfortunate, and I felt really bad. I do feel like I made the plays to win. I think I played well, um, but it would have been closer, I think. So yeah, obviously I have a free switch into Ping Wolf. You're still down on differential to Jared, right? Yeah, by two, by two Pokemon. And I could have done some things maybe to save my differential, like switching out Kingler there. Um, and I go for I go for a discharge. Doesn't get the paralysis. It has a thirty percent chance. And I think it's a move that people should use more. How much power? Eighty. It's like a dark pulse. With... No, it's scald. Thirty percent chance to, to. Oh yeah. yeah. To paralyze. Yeah, but generally you don't see scald on offensive Pokemon. Greninja, I guess you do. I mean. Yeah. So I switched out. And then he went for this, and you see, like, there I could have, I could have maybe saved it, because I had Focus Sashes, but yeah, I didn't really want to. You know, I just wanted to let Katara go down. I had a free switch into this, and, um, I don't know why, did I Volt Switch? No, I Discharged. I don't know why I didn't Volt Switch, but, um, oh yeah, I wanted to get as much damage off or get a Paralysis on, uh, Heatran. And at this point, it's pretty much over because, uh, you know, his, um, his Jellicent's at 32% and it's frozen. And this is a nice play by him. I'm surprised I lived it. Yeah, well, actually, Domantian's got 95 base HP, so. Yeah, that's true. It's nice to have. We have a like little that. bit of bulk. I mean, but obviously, that forces him out because I went for EQ. Uh, Could have gone for the U turn, but I. Decided to make a safe play and go for the EQ. Uh, I switch out into. Have, have you ever ran another variant Skullking? besides Choice Scarf or Manitan? No. And then I'm Sash. So he, he goes down to his own life orb damage. And then. Um, in is going to come Donald Trump. And, you know, like here, I, I definitely could have. Maybe saves my differential if I went out into Flygon, which I thought about doing. Um, but I also didn't want to get burned by Lava Queen. So, I mean, yeah. At this point, I went out into Flygon Gym. It's over. I outspeed him. And EQ's going to take him out. He can't really, he can't very well switch into Jellicent because it's frozen 32%, not Levitate. And then I finish it off with a Thunder Punch. Which was there for uh, Aerodactyl, Azumarill, uh, and this, this was an Expert Belt with Defog, and a couple other things. Thunder Punch, uh, U-Turn, and EQ. So it was a, it was a good, uh, good 3-0 win, a lot of hacks. Um, so, uh... I still think my team, I think I brought the right team for him, I think. Um, you know, I, I, I lost big time, 5 nothing to him uh, before, and I had to make some adjustments. And as you can see, we're both atop the Talos Conference. Uh, we're both 7-4. and four. He has me on differential, but I've won three in a row now. So it's nice to get back um, on that yeah. winning grind. And so what, what, you were 1, wait. I was 3-0, oh, okay. then 3-3, three and three, then 4-3, four and three, then 4-4, four and, four, and now 7-4. and four. Not bad, not bad. So you're confident in winning the Kalos Conference? No, not at all. <laughs> I, I think... It's not bad to be confident. Well, I play I play Vancouver and then you. So those are two tough matches coming up. I really would like to secure the bye. Um, especially because if I don't, I'll be playing you probably. And that means we play each other twice in a row. Um, but, you know, I, I, I've pretty... You know, I've pretty much clinched. It's It's... It's, uh, you know, if, if, if the Bear takes a lose this week, both Jared and I clinch. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, that's still uh, coming up this weekend. Yeah, I mean, all the matches are, yours is in a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, if things pan out, we could be playing on Saturday, too. But. Well, 20 minutes is Saturday. Okay, like Saturday during the day. Um, all right, so stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be doing a lot for the playoffs, hopefully, previews. Uh, I, I am going to put up every single one, trying to get some of them live. 
So watch out for that stuff and stay excited and um, good luck to everyone who's playing.